A Union County native's dreams came true this weekend when he heard his name called during the NFL draft. News 12's Robin Dean has his story tonight. Will Fries was surrounded by friends and family at their home in Cranford when a call came in from Indianapolis. A few minutes later, the Colts making it official. Everyone was so stressed out the whole day, and you know, once that um, you know, call came through and knew where we were going, everyone was just uh, broke down with you know, a big group hug. <laughs> The Colts selected the six foot six, 309 pound offensive lineman in the seventh round, 248th overall. Fries played his college ball at Penn State. Prior to that, he was a star at Cranford, helping the Cougars win a state title in 2015. It's really cool, you know. It's just such a, like a tight knit community here, you know. Um, you know, being able to celebrate with uh, you know the whole community after, you know, all my closest friends, you know, you know mentors, coaches, being able to see them that night and. Uh, it, it was a really special moment, you know, just uh, a night I'll never forget. Fries flies out to Indianapolis on Wednesday and says he's looking forward to meeting his teammates, including another Jersey guy that plays offensive line, Homedale native Quentin Nelson. There's a you know, great offensive line group there. You know, I'm really excited to be joining them. Um, you know, guys like uh, Quentin Nelson from being New, from New Jersey as well. Um, you know, excited, you know, meet him and, you know, Ryan Kelly and, um, you know, Mark Lewinsky, Brain Smith, they're all really good guys and you know, excited to be part of the group. Fry says while the draft process was long, the payoff is unbelievable and he can't wait to get started. I can't thank, you know, Colts organization enough for, you know, taking a chance on me. And um, you know, I'm really looking forward to getting to work out there and uh, you know, giving everything I got. I'm Robin Dien for News 12 Sports. Good luck to him. Jersey City native Frank Darby, by the way, was also drafted. Uh, former Lincoln High School wide receiver was taken by the Atlanta Falcons in the sixth round. Robin's going to have his draft night experience for you later this week.